Oh my god, my dog will stop barking. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video which is pretty out of trend right now. I am aware of that. This was a trend like about a month ago, a few weeks ago. I'm aware that it's kind of had its day. However, I really wanted to do it because I think it's really good to like get to know someone um, and I really love watching them and I just really wanted to do it to be honest. So this is the show me a photo of video. Um, obviously it was like a thing on Instagram and then a lot of YouTubers did it as well. I just asked for suggestions on my Instagram story, show me a photo of whatever. I think I think you're on to what I'm what trend I mean. But I'm gonna be doing it on my laptop because as I stated in my first video, I'm filming on my phone. So I've got all the photos on my laptop. I'm just gonna get started because there's quite a lot to get through. And I hope I can get through them all to be honest, because some for some I've done like a few photos, so so the first one is show me a photo of your BFFs. Um so there's a few photos here. The first one is of me. Sadie, Imo and Meg. I really like this picture. I always use it for like literally everything. It's in my kitchen, it's in the photo taking corner and we're about to go to a party. And it's just really, I think Peggy was stood in front of us and that's what we're looking at. But I like it because it's just quite natural. Next we've got one of me, Liv and Ellie. And this is when we went out, literally like the weekend before lockdown. We went to Las Iguanas and spoons and i remember when we were in las iguanas we were like why is it so dead for a friday night is everyone scared of covid like we were we were wondering why everyone was so scared of it and why they'd like not come out because of it and then look what happened a week later <laughs> but anyway i am glad that we went because that was like our last bit of normality and it was so nice like they had the dance floor open at spoons which they then shut obviously when it reopened like in summer they didn't have the dance floor so it's just quite nice to look back on and the fact that it was over a year ago and it was the last bit of normality we had is really depressing but the next photo is of me and my other friend Liv this was in Dash in Liverpool it was in December because we were in tier two and we went to Dash and honestly I actually can't believe that that was only December like and we were going there and it was it wasn't fine obviously there was a lot of restrictions like you had to eat there was the 11 p.m curfew but it was good like for it to get back to that i would love and yeah i really like this photo i really like the dress that i'm wearing here it's no poly dress i really really like it the next one is a photo of you with covid and if you didn't know i had covid like at the start of january this is me not knowing that i had covid i'm pretty sure it was like the 30th of december and i went and got my test on the 2nd of January, tested positive on the 2nd of January and I remember this night like being really tired and lethargic and I thought I just like hadn't had enough sleep the night before, no it was Covid. The next one is your fave outfit, I've got a few for this I'm just gonna kind of like insert them and not talk too much about them, that's the one that um this is the photo that my friend Ellie drew, which is my actual, in my intro, my profile picture. Um, I love this outfit, this one. I've not, I've only worn this one once, but I love the skirt. My friend Liv got it me for my birthday. The reason I put this one in is because I'm obsessed with these jeans, right? And every time I wear them, I get a compliment. And I absolutely love them, like, because they're like two-tone blue. And I just think they're really cool from Urban Outfitters. And this is the final one. I love this skirt, can't wait for summer to wear it again. And this little shoulder bag, oh my God, it was from Zara. And it was, I can't, was it in sale? I can't remember if it was in the sale or not, but it was literally on like a random bit, in like a random stand in Zara. And it was by chance that I saw it. And I'm absolutely in love with it. And it wasn't very expensive, but it was like shiny blue with a little shoulder bag, which was like really in fashion over like summer. And yeah, I actually really like this photo. 
and it just gives me like real summer vibes and I'm so excited for summer again. Next one is You On A Night Out. There's not many to choose from here to be honest because I turned 18 in the December before like lockdown so all of my night out photos are from you know like summer just gone when we got like a bit of normality and like clubs and stuff were open but only to sit down in. So I've got a couple. This is me and Libby in a club basically you could go in but like you had to sit down so we were just sat at a booth and we had like such a good time actually because we we drank a lot before so we were quite drunk at this point and the music was really good and we just had a really good time just dancing in our seats <laughs> that sounds so sad another great night this was results day this was probably like the most normal night like that this was probably the most normal day of my whole last year because we booked a table at a bar in Liverpool so we had to like sit down but the rule of six wasn't out wasn't a thing I don't think so we went to Spoons before then we went to this place where we booked a table and then we went to another bar which we didn't have to book a table at and the reason it was so normal as well was because like loads of my friends went so like I met up with like all my different friends that night and then Libby was there as well and it was probably like my favourite memory my favourite night of 2020. The next one is a photo of you with your family. So I've only got one for this one. It's me, my mum and my dad um, outside the Ivy in Manchester. This was for their anniversary a couple of years ago. I think it was the 25th anniversary. Um, yeah, it was a nice, it was a really nice night. If you've not been to the Ivy, it's very posh, very expensive, but it was probably like the nicest meal I've ever had. And I felt very bougie going there. It's not something that we often do. Like that's the only time I've ever been, but it was amazing. The next one's really nice, it's you at your happiest. I would say that the happiest time of my life was was summer 2019. Um, and let me find a photo. This photo kind of sums up like me at my happiest because number one, I'm in London, which is like my happy place. And I'm with all my college friends. Um, basically, we went to London with college and this was the day that like our big group kind of formed because before that we were like two smaller groups and we just like joined up in this London trip and we all just got on so well and it was just like the best day. This was probably my happiest day. I don't, it's a bit extreme to say the happiest day of my life but like I was so happy that day because I just found like this whole new like amazing group of friends and I was in London with them all and went to see a show. This just sums it up basically, me at my happiest. Another really happy day was my man and Libby's second date, which is this photo. We we went to like five different places, just like parks and stuff around Liverpool. Shops and stuff were still shut at this point, I think. This was like June and we were just lying there and it was a really hot day and we were just like sunbathing and just like, I was just so happy in that moment. Honourable mention, me being very happy with Harry Styles. This is me and Harry Styles it's kind of doesn't need an explanation does it i was very happy in this moment <laughs> the next one is you on your 18th birthday this one's quite funny actually because i was very ill on my 18th birthday i had like the worst flu ever this is literally one of the only photos that i have from it because i was so ill looking back it was probably covid because it was when covid was just starting up starting up as if it's like a business or something when covid was like going round. So yeah, this is like one of the only photos I have and I look pretty dead, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, it was a great 18th. The next one is Peggy. Peggy is my dog. I showed photos of her in my last vid in my first video, but I've got a few here. I'll just go through them like without too much explanation. On this one, she looks like, like the Virgin Mary. I find it really, really cute. I love it when she does that, like wraps herself up in blankets. I love this one just makes me laugh because she always used to stretch like that when she was a puppy she just makes me laugh she's just so cute and th these are her when she was a tiny little puppy this was when we were visiting her in um the when she was at the breeders the breeders is that what they're called the people that we bought her off <laughs> um and she was tiny look at her i think this was like this was literally the first day we got her as well this one Look how tiny she is, honestly. I really want another little sausage dog because I didn't appreciate how cute she was and how small she was. I actually, oh my god. The next one is a bit depressing. It's you at your lowest. It was quite hard to find a photo of this because I don't really like take photos of myself when I'm sad. 
but I was I thought back to like the times that I've been sad because if I look at a photo when I was like sad that day I'll vividly remember it so I've got a couple this one nothing to do with Liv it's just a picture of me and Liv I wasn't sad because of her <laughs> but I just remember like this period of my life I was like really down and like sad we were at like a party like a pajama party thing and i don't know i just remember like being down around then there's not much more explanation to be honest other than that but i think it's weird how like you can look so like happy in a photo not that i look really happy in this you can kind of see it in my eyes but like just not obvious at all is it the next one's a bit weird as well this is me and Liv, the other Liv in london which again, nothing to do with Liv. Liv's great. And also I was in London, like I was having an amazing time. But again, another time of my life where I was just really sad and like down. And on that London trip, like I had such a good time, but then it was kind of just distracting me from like the fact that I was just really sad. So anyway, this is us in Olivia Burton. And I, like, I really like the photo and I had a nice day and a nice time. I just remember what was going on in my brain, you know, deep in the back. The next one, lighting it up a bit, um, is me backstage at a show. This one's really cute. This is like just before we went onto the stage in Chorus Line. This was like in the wings, like not backstage, in the wings when like the audience were there. I can't remember why I had my phone on me. I don't normally make a habit of having my phone on me backstage in the wings, but I clearly did at this moment in time. Like it was literally about two minutes before we went on. This one makes me laugh. This was me and Sadie in Legally Blonde. Um, Basically, you know, the illness that I said that I had for my 18th birthday, Legally Blonde was like two days before my 18th birthday. And this was when we all contracted this illness and the whole cast got ill. And it, I think it's the illest I've ever felt like it was way worse than when I had COVID. And me and Sadie literally just lay down on the floor in all the costumes and props and just lay there for as long as we possibly could until we had to like get up and actually like perform. So yeah. I actually don't have very positive memories from this because I literally felt dead. Next one is me as a baby. Um, I've got one here and it's quite funny. I had a little round head. <laughs> I think I was quite a cute baby to be honest. I was born with like a flat head. I've just said it was round. I was born with a flat head. I don't know why it was literally flat. And then as I like, as my skull developed, it kind of like went a bit more normal. So this was me obviously when it was a bit more normal, but. <laughs> I think I was quite cute. The next one was off my friend Liv and she said us drunk. So I had a few for this. I had about a million actually, but I've had to cut them down quite a bit to my favourite classic one here in Mackey's. I think, honestly, I'm craving a drunk Mackey's. Like, Mackey's never tastes nicer than when you're drunk. So this is us in our natural habitat. This is one from my birthday a few years ago. Yeah quite cute again apart from my disgusting nails like i bite my nails so badly don't even talk about it it's disgusting i know this is probably my fave me on the loo and live there there's not more explanation needed there to be honest i then had a lot which were just ones of you really drunk like majority were them which just kind of shows a lot about my character but i have some absolutely horrendous ones here of me drunk i'm not going to explain too much because i don't think they need much explanation but <sighs> this was after me and libby had been to revolution de cuba and before i before we left i drank a whole bottle of prosecco and that was the biggest mistake of my life because i don't remember much for the rest of the evening we were just meant to be going for a nice meal and I was nearly being sick the whole time. And I just needed away every two seconds. And the taxi took about three hours to get there because it was so much traffic. And I nearly pissed myself in the taxi. It was such a bad time, but she did this to me at the end of the night, which thanks Libby. I don't have any explanation to this. It's just horrendous. And I don't know why it exists, but hey ho. Another which, I have no recollection of this being taken. This was at the chorus line party and Chris posted this on his story and I saw it the next day and I was like, when was I, when was I sat with Chris? But apparently 
I was clinging on to him for ages, sitting on his knee and stuff and like being dead, like clingy. And this was clearly me in that moment. Oh yeah, for reference, that night I drank like a whole bottle of Malibu Street. I don't remember much of it. Yeah. <laughs> the next one is You on Holiday. <laughs> I think what I was doing was Chinsia, you know, from Sophia and Chinsia posted like a really like sexy bikini pic on one of them flamingos, like looking really cool. And I just was like, I'm going to do my own cool flamingo pic. So this is me and my mum loving our lives in the pool in Mallorca. So yeah, I mean, if that doesn't scream Instagram influencer, I don't know what does, to be honest. Oh my God, before I forgot to show this one of Peggy, which is like my favourite photo of her ever with a little banana raincoat on. How cute is that? I can't believe I forgot to show it, but here it is. <laughs> I'm sure you all appreciate it. The next one is a photo you hate, and I found so many, so many for this. I'm gonna go through my top. I think there's like two, two photos of, no, there's three photos of me. There's four. No. I'm just gonna show you them. There's a few photos of me in my life that I hate, like that haunt me. This being the top one, my friend Liv likes to, she took it of me in Mackie's and she likes to send it me like every now and then just to remind me how disgusting I am. I just hate everything about it, like the angle, the paleness, the my face. What is that picture at all? It's disgusting. And then another one which is even worse is me with Abby Lee Miller. <laughs> And I've never seen a photo with, taken from such a bad angle. Like, I've got this, like, my fod looks so much bigger than it actually is. I've got acne on my fod. I've got greasy hair. Don't even talk about it. I think I was, like, 13 here. We don't even mention the fact that that's my photo with Abby Lee Miller. And this one. It's the eyebrows and the lipstick. What was going on here? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. And it's the fact that I've still got my ribbon in. I remember I used to wear like a ribbon in my hair to school. And I've clearly, this is clearly like in the evening. I've got my pyjamas on and I've decided to put makeup on because I think I'm cool. And I've still got my blue ribbon in my hair from school. Like I haven't moved my hair since I've been in school all day. Sometimes I really do wonder. The next one is you on a roller coaster. And again, really ugly one. Me and Liv on the sonic spinball and Liv's gonna kill me for this photo. I'm speechless, to be honest. <laughs> the next one is you on stage. This is like my favourite photo, like show photo ever. It's me and Chris again in Phantom. And it's the bit where the Phantom's like proposing to her like, cause he's got the ring there. And she's like, oh my God. The next one is the first photo in your camera roll. This was very painful to include. I'm pretty sure this was my, when would I have got this phone? That phone, sorry. My 12th birthday, my 12th birthday, so I was in year seven and I got my iPhone for my 12th birthday and I decided to take this mirror pic, which I think is stunning personally. And I probably post it on Instagram, almost definitely post it on Instagram actually. The next one is you in London. Um, I've, Again, I've got millions of photos of me in London. I really like this one because I'm in Primrose Hill, which is, oh, Primrose Hill is my favourite part of London. If you've not been, it's in Regent's Park and it's just a big hill and it just overlooks the whole of London and it's just like gorgeous in summer, which obviously is when this was. It's just so peaceful to just sit there and like, I mean, it looks really dry and like barren on this photo, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like the desert, but when it, when there's like grass there and stuff, it's so nice to just sit there and I'd love to like sit there and have a picnic, which I've never done, but when I live in London, I'm going to do it all the time. Look how pretty it is. It's just looking out over a city like that when you're in a park, I think is just the best feeling ever. The next one is you in school. Now, obviously it's been quite a while since I left school now. It's been three years, I think. But I dug deep and I got some, some questionable photos. So we've got this. This was in a drama lesson. Yeah. <laughs> this one made me laugh as well. We had like um, a day where you had to stay in form all day. We had it quite a bit, but we had to make shelters like out of cardboard boxes. And I can't remember what it was. Was it like to raise awareness for homelessness or something? I'm, I really don't know. But 
this was me and my shelter that we'd made having the time of my life very clearly and then the final one is quite a sad one your last day at college it's coming up to the year anniversary of this which I, we don't talk about we don't mention it because it makes me feel physically sick it was our last rehearsals it was not the whole cast of the higher man obviously but we were meant to be doing a show called the higher man and this was like a good amount of the cast well we knew that we weren't doing the higher man probably ever i think we knew we wouldn't be doing any others but like we weren't 100 percent sure but i remember we just like sung loads of songs from like past shows that we'd done and like did stupid things it was a really nice memory actually but really really sad i can't think about it for too long <laughs> and that's everything i hope you enjoyed um me exposing myself a little bit not too much to be fair but just a little bit i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like it don't forget to subscribe and like and i'll see you in my next video bye